it's 8.30, it's Saturday morning, it's raining. What else can you do? We'll go looking at tractors. We're gonna go to JR Furby in Yorkshire because he's got plenty of tractors in and most of them are classics or future track classics. So we're going to have a look, see what we can get. Roundabout update, we've got some new stone and some curbs. No one working on the Saturday, terrible. 14.55. Sounds better than that John Deere. It's always just a fun, they all do it like the steer when it's when it starts. Oh like the twitch. V8. <laughs> Exhaust. This pisses on the 49.55. Purse, size of that gearbox. Have a look in the cab. Cab's not a lot different to the 47, is it? Wash shape bonnet as well. Sound like now when you're ever. V8. Living the dream now, isn't it? Spill valves, huge draw bar, fuel wheels, got the toolbox bracket. Eight thousand hours on a British farm. It feels weird when you turn the steering wheel. That's like. The tyres nearly kiss each other. So light as well as steering, you could do it like with your little finger. It's a proper track to this. Andrew's just showing us a lot now. Go all the way. It's huge. That's better than them modern ones now with the four tracks. It's just a toy shop here. Steiger. STX 440 quad track. Absolute monster. With the red leather seat. Definitely think I need to get a few classic tractors. Now the Bateman's is getting nicely paid for by YouTube. Put them in a shed and have some open days. And maybe if it keeps carrying on, open a coffee shop. Tractors and coffee, you can't beat it. Well, sound nice that for a massive. This is probably like the cleanest David Brown in the country, is it? Totally original.
up until 2001 and one we had a nine this is an 885 we had a 990 with a loader on and that was the main thing for moving stuff around and now we have three merlots and it didn't even have windows in it look at that there says ollie MP track here, new seat, two spools, just like the forerunner of the fast track, the Mercedes engine. Check your arms if you want. Here we are on the MB track with the wagon engine in it. We really all had a Mercedes engine in it. Whistles when you back off a throttle. It's got this, I like the red on it as well. It's got some stuff here. Like a sweet shop. Put it into reverse. Air brakes as well. Air PTO turns off with that. It's hard to drive with one hand. Here we go. See it now, it's out of the shed. Size like there, tank. Oh, it's not full length. Look at the size of the exhaust on it. TW35, Nigel's watching him like that. They used to have a fleet of them. It's a 5130 that Robin should buy. Rare Turbo 5130. There you go, where there's smoke, there's light. That's like a steam train. You no, know it's like really tidy this because it's still got the stickers on everything. David, like if he was watching, you should have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Digital dash, bit of a thing going on there, don't know. Well fueled. Quite quiet the cab though, to be fair. Toolbox. 716 on a 56 plate, we used to have one of them. That's good for cues as well. Off we go. Oh, fuel lights on. Bonnet's ridiculous, you know, for T junctions and things like that, crossroads. You can't see where you're going. Brakes are a bit. Nothing in a wall. Goes reverse. Oh, we're doing. Reverse one here. Just where it should be. So when you're ploughing all day, you can just keep your hand on one burst in. Got a video of uh, that subsoil on the back of the big Arctic John Deere, so I'll show you that now. Richard sent me when he's using it in the summer. Off we go in third. Will the dashboard settle down now?
all the tractors used to turn the ignition switch off and then you'd have to pull the stop out which would cut the fuel to the engine to stop them or if it was an MB track you shut the revs right the way off this tractor basically took over from the 1455s got a four speed power shift four was reversed and the early ones didn't have four was reversed it didn't have neutral this one has that's nice and clean it's really smooth compared to the TW I've just been driving. So you put it to forwards and out, and then you can just click up through the gears by pushing that. They're like the hydro shift we used to have on the David Browns. Quite similar to the John Deere gearboxes in the 6.8s eight, as well, and stuff like that. 6.9s. I should really do a tour of his yard, shouldn't I? Maybe I could do that for tomorrow. So you can see everything that he's got in. So if anyone's interested, you could see his stock. Everything that we've not bought. I'm not getting carried away here. Right, we'll go into top gear now. We'll back down here. Boop. If you can't have to use a clutch. Put some light, I suppose. Just up at Charlotte's now, moving the horse bed into the stables, out of breath because I've been dragging the bags around. Just finished tractor shopping for the day. I've done a video round his yard. It's that long. I'm going to show half of it now. So have a look round and see what you think. I'm going to show you the shed with all the combines in. Tell me what your favourite combine is in that shed. <laughs> the corner, then, Richard. How many combines are in this shed? 14. 14. Right, we'll have a look at them all, eh? I'll flip the camera. Nearly all. Right, guess the combine. TX36. Sumo DTS. Anyone wants one of them? We've got another TX36. We've got a Dominator. 98. Some of the late ones of these had the cab on, the same as the Lexians. TF78. A John Deere. 2264, don't really know John Deere numbers. Hill Master, so that means when you're working on a slope, it will level itself out through the front axle. Ooh, we've got a, what we've got here? Got another beet harvester, is it? Tim beet harvester, maybe? I think they make screeners, actually, as well. Amazon Cirrus, so this is sort of like a one-pass drill. It's got cultivator uh, discs on the front, then packer, and then a drill. A Verland six meter uni drill, similar setup. Got a Hausman sprayer. Ooh. A lot of these are in France. Forward control sprayer. So, well, say forward control, forward boom sprayer. The booms are on the front and you sit at the back. Obviously, it has good windscreen wipers. It's windy, you can see where you're going. Got a Bateman high low, is it? Let's have a look. Look at that, British engineering. You can tell how old it is, it's not got the one and the zero from eight minutes, is it a high low? Yep. Yeah. Gonna have to look in the cab of this, aren't we? Steps, air assist steps, same as the others. Contour boom, never changed in years. There we go. Look at that. It's got the uh, RDS controller, very similar to the sprayer I traded in. Stick there, forwards and backwards in the throttle. Boom controls, very light sprayer. These were a game changer when these came out because they were so light. And what have we got next to it? The 600, is it? Lexion, just jump out of that. 600 Lexion on, Lexi on track, similar to what we used to have, sort of three combines ago. Stickers falling off it. And behind it is another 600 Lexian. So between them two, you'd be able to cut 400 acres a day, maybe 300 acres a day. And then got another Lexian, 570. So this is what we can see from here. Well, this will be 20 centimeters narrower than that one. So this is what they call a narrow chassis machine. So they fit down the road easier. This is a wide chassis machine, similar chassis to the one on our combine. 
Got a chaser bin, a week's chaser bin, which I think is something to do with Richard Weston. Now that, it actually says on it, Richard Weston. Put some tyres on that, it's a beast. We don't need one, but it would look cool on the back of that quad track. 2188 Asheville Flow, beast of a combine there. Six metre sumo DTS drill. So this is a bit like the Claydon drill, but sumo's version. Where you've got a leg, a coulter, and then a bit of a packer behind it, actually, on these ones. And they had this disc on the front to cut the cut the straw. The actual flow now is. It's what you need. 440 Steiger. Come quad track. Made by Case. Absolute beast. This would be the centrepiece if we open the coffee shop. Huge drawbar. Linkage on the back. Four spool valves. Not the LED lights though. Another 570 Lexi. On tyres this one. It's not fit through. Strictly no passengers. That's handy. It's a beast that isn't it. But you can't see the size of it because it's part of extra combines, but it's massive. It overloads the combine next to it. Got another class here. So it's a another 570 on tracks, so narrow one. And then I've got a big ridiculous John Deere crawler on an O2 plate. What is it? 8000 is it? No 9420T. That's a beast. And then a really shiny CX 86 New Holland. And then I think we've got another combine. Another 580 on tracks. So this was the forerunner to the 600, so a bit less horsepower. Different fan in it, but hellish output machine. A little bit of rye here as well, so that's, that's what rye looks like when you combine it. We're up in front of the shed. So, yeah, hellish output out of them. I think that was all 14. I think there was more than 14. So someone wants to go back and re pause it count than we could do. Back to the beginning again. So what was your favourite thing in that shed? Was it one of the combines? Was it the big crawlers? Was it the quad track? Which I think is a beast. I think we need one. Don't know what for but we just need one. Leave a comment below anyway and I'll see you tomorrow when I'll show you around the rest of his yard. Just got to say thank you to Richard and his son for showing us around today. Cracking bloke. If you need any tractors and any machinery definitely check out his website or give him a call thanks to everyone that's watching if you want to watch another video it's over there if you want to subscribe it's over here lots of new subscribers again if you're watching and you're new don't forget to tell me where you're watching from and i'll see you all tomorrow